Welcome to Power Tips 365 with me, Shelley Fischel. Today we're going to have a look at, in a little more detail on OneNote and specifically to if you're the kind of person who writes lots of blogs like I do, you're reading one now or rather watching one. So I use OneNote to organise my thoughts for blogs and I just thought I'd share that with you in today's post. You'll see that I have my notebook open. It's over here on the right hand si left hand side. I get my right and left mixed up. Just take no notice. Um, and you'll see there's my blogs notebook. And when I hover, I can see where it's stored. In fact, if I come up to the file menu, it tells me here that it's stored in my OneDrive folder. And as you will see along the top, there are various sections within my notebook. My first section is blog titles, so on a day when I feel like brainstorming, I can come in here and just type titles for blogs, and most of these have already been posted. I'll then come into the blog section, and this is where I actually write my blogs. So I'll start a new page for each blog, so there's 10 things you need to know about Office, Office 365, and I've noted the fact that I actually published that. And I will carry on through there, so you'll see 10 things you need to know about Office 2016 for Mac. And some of them are published and some are not, where I've started to write them, got stuck, and I've moved on. But even so, um, it's quite useful to have that kind of place where I've got all my blogs in a notebook in one place. And then there are various other sections, so I went to an event and these are some notes from that event, other events that I went to, and there's a list of things that I can add for 2016. Coffee Island is my upcoming book, st book series, so that's where I started my blog about that. And here's the OneNote uh, blogs as well. So within OneNote, I've got all sorts of options as to what I might write about with OneNote. So if I come back to the, um, let's go back to the blogs section. No, I think that's a bit too full. Let's go to OneNote and I'm going to come over on the right hand side. I'm going to add a page. So I'm going to title the page OneNote for bloggers and then in here I can type whatever text I want or do other things and that's what I want to show you some of the other things that you can do if I come to the insert ribbon you'll see that I can add a table or a file attachment or a screen clipping or an online picture or a link or I can even record audio and record video so I might want to suddenly record some thoughts I can record that as an audio message now if I open up um, my uh, browser I'm going to just bring that in a little bit so it's sitting inside the window and I'm going to go and look for um, one note on the web and you'll see that pops up. So here we've got some information about Microsoft OneNote from Microsoft. And there it is. Now I want to pop this into my notebook to come back to it later. So I'm just going to copy the URL and I'm just going to paste that in. And I can paste it as a link and it will ask me where do I want to put it. So I'm going to pop it in my blogs and it's in my OneNote one and then I can even drill down to my page that I want to put it in and now I've got a link to that piece of text um, or to that blog post. I can also come in here and I can take a screenshot so if I go for screen clipping it's now ready for me to take a screenshot I can take that screenshot and it goes straight into my notebook and it also should tell me where it came from as well. So there's that screen clipping in my notebook. And if I click on there, nothing actually happens because it's just a picture. So you'll see that I can do lots of things to help me garner my thoughts, get pictures from the web. If I was using Edge, uh, which is Microsoft's latest browser, I can also um, send things direct to OneNote from the browser. So that's just a few things that you can do and that's how I use it to keep my blogging um, nice and tidy. So I keep my titles in one place and then I go over and write my blogs over there and I can gather information as I go around and add things into my OneNote notebook.
and you'll note that I have several notebooks over here so I can have a notebook for every subject with sections in it just like your physical notebooks. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.